we share theoretical and empirical reviews it is all about learning research facts and sharing with others please subscribe to our channel if you like our videos title of the published papers 1 ternary hybrid nanofluids significance of suction and dual stretching on three-dimensional flow of water conveying nanoparticles with various shapes and densities 2 Dynamics of ternary hybrid nanofluid subject to magnetic flux density and heat source or sink on a convectively heated surface. 3. Insight into the motion of water conveying three kinds of nanoparticles shapes on a horizontal surface, significance of thermomigration and Brownian motion. Authors of the reports. Details of the published reports. Water is frequently used in numerous industries, therefore improving water resource management is a vital topic among scientists. Around 70% of the water consumed in the world is utilized in agriculture, with the remaining 20% being used in other industries. Water can be used both as the source of energy, and as one of the tools for generating energy. For instance, there are hydropower plants that use the flowing water and turn its energy into electricity. At the same time, water may be used for cooling in other types of power plants, such as nuclear power plants, which overheat during the process, and require something to cool them down. Water is utilized in manufacturing companies for a variety of purposes, including steam generation, cooling, cleaning, process applications, and even personnel sanitation. Without water, the equipment would most certainly overheat all of the time, forcing us back into the dark ages. Water is used in the chemical industry for heating and cooling equipments, create steam, create a vacuum, prepare solvents, and rinse goods, among other things. Bodies of water are overexposed these days, whether due to climate change or man-made circumstances. Flow is a key aspect of streams that influences everything from water temperature and concentration of various chemicals to the distribution of habitats and creatures across the stream. Whether it is deionized water for electronics and pharmaceutical sectors, or softened water for boiler feed applications, water is necessary, and comes embedded in the footprint of virtually item created on the planet. The motion of water subject to unbalanced forces is an interesting topic to scientists. Whatsoever is occurring at the wall, that is within the tiny layer called boundary layer, is more important for determination and prediction of the transport phenomenon. Now, let us visit some facts published on Wednesday, the 29th of May 2019 at www.aquatechtrade.com slash news titled Industrial Water, Our Essential Guide to Pollution treatment, and solutions. Without water, many companies and the products they provide, would fail to exist. Water use is a fundamental commodity for nearly every step of the manufacturing and production processes around the world. Manufacturing and other industries use water during the production process for either creating their products, or cooling equipment used in creating their products. According to the United States Geological Survey, USGS, industrial water is used for fabricating, processing, washing, diluting, cooling, or transporting a product. What is ternary hybrid nanofluid? Engineered colloidal mixture of a base fluid like water with a single kind of nanoparticles is termed nanofluid. Deep exploration of the aforementioned fluid has unraveled the case of an intensive mixture of base fluid with two kinds of nanoparticles, that is hybrid nanofluid. If there are three kinds of nanoparticles in the base fluid, then ternary hybrid nanofluid is formed. These category of fluids have been proved to be very useful as cooling, and vehicle thermal management, temperature reduction, enhancement, microelectronics, and pharmaceutical processes. What do we know about the dynamic viscosity of nanofluids with shapes of nanoparticles? 
The dynamic viscosity of alumina based nanofluids at various values of temperature had been shown by Timo Fever and others, 2009, to vary with shapes of nanoparticles. Such differences in the agglomeration and interactions between each type of nanoparticles, that is platelets, bricks, blades, and cylinders, and the base fluid are associated with the surface charge. What is surface charge? Surface charge produces an electric field, which generates particle repulsion and attraction, influencing many colloidal properties. When a particle is immersed in a fluid, surface charge almost invariably occurs on its surface. Let us consider the meaning of exergetic and energetic performance. Exergy is defined as the maximum amount of work which can be produced by a stream of matter, heat, or work as it comes to equilibrium with a reference environment. Exergetic efficiency, the most crucial parameter for the thermal assessment of energy systems, is defined for both an energy system and its subcomponents. In a study on single-phase natural circulation loop with hybrid nanofluids, Sahu and Saka, 2019, concluded that nanoparticle shapes affect both the exergetic and energetic performance. Can we say that the dynamics of ternary hybrid nanofluids are Newtonian in nature? Mausavi and others, 2019, investigated the dynamics of water conveying copper oxide, magnesium oxide, and titanium oxide. It was remarked that the dynamics of ternary hybrid nanofluids fits the exact description of a Newtonian fluid. The outcomes of the study suggest that the viscosity of the five types of ternary hybrid nanofluids is an increasing function of concentration, that is, volume of nanoparticles. The density of ternary hybrid nanofluids decreases linearly. Enhancement in the specific heat capacity of the base fluid is achievable through the addition of different types of nanoparticles. One of the research questions by Salim and others 2022, reads, is ternary hybrid nanofluid a Newtonian or non-Newtonian fluid? It was remarked that the outcome of the simulation suggests that the five ternary hybrid nanofluids are purely Newtonian fluids due to the observed linear relationship between the velocity gradient and shear stress. Theoretical Review of Study 1 Increasing effects of suction and dual stretching on the dynamics of water conveying nanoparticles with smaller density and considerably larger nanoparticles density of different shapes within the boundary layer formed in a rectangular closed domain was investigated by Thaner El Nakib and others. 2021. Looking at Table 1 in the report, the first ternary hybrid nanofluid that was considered by Thaner El Nakib and others. 2021, is the motion of water conveying smaller densities in particles like copper nanotubes, aluminum oxide, and graphene. The second ternary hybrid nanofluid is a colloidal mixture of water with substantial large densities of nanoparticles like copper oxide, copper, and silver. Empirical Review of Study 1 by Transport Phenomenon 1, Water Conveying Nanoparticles with Smaller Densities of Different Shapes Transport Phenomenon 2, Water Conveying Considerably Large Nanoparticles Densities of Different Shapes Thaner El Nakib and others, 2021, discovered that rising values of suction at the wall causes local skin friction coefficients at the wall to decline in the dynamics of both ternary hybrid nanofluids. The exertion of forces on fluid, that is, liquid or gas, by partial vacuum with the major intention, to lower pressure through the removal of air and replacement with the fluid thus causing adhesion is defined as suction. The overall process of lowering, pressure is responsible for the reduction in the obtained values for local skin friction coefficients, that quantify levels of friction between the last layer of each ternary hybrid nanofluid and the wall. Higher rate of decreasing friction due to rising levels of suction occurs in the case of transport phenomenon 1 due to the smaller densities of different shapes of nanoparticles. Temperature distribution is maxima, while heat transfer is minima in the case of ternary hybrid nanofluid made up of small density of nanoparticles, when suction is small. 
at all the levels of suction and stretching ratio, higher Nusselt numbers proportional to heat transfer rates were ascertained in the case of water conveying copper oxide, copper, and silver nanoparticles due to their heavy densities. The presence of nanoparticles in the base fluid changes the flow structure, so that besides thermal conductivity increment, chaotic movements, dispersions, and fluctuations of nanoparticles especially near the wall leads to an increase in the energy exchange rates and augments heat transfer rate between the fluid and the wall. Theoretical Review of Study 2 the dynamics of stagnant ternary hybrid nanofluid, that is water conveying spherical silver nanoparticles, cylindrical aluminum oxide nanoparticles, and platelet aluminum nanoparticles, when induced magnetic field and convective heating surface are significant was investigated by Anamazorn and others. 2022. Empirical Review of Study 2. Anamazorn and others. 2022, discovered that either in the case of heat source or heat sink, an increment in the rate of convectively heating of the wall is a factor capable of boosting the temperature distribution, because it is associated with higher levels of convective heating ternary hybrid nanofluids and causes a higher heat transfer rate. Thermal resistance is one of the heat qualities depending on the difference between temperature and ternary hybrid nanofluids ability to withstand thermal flow, that is the interaction between conduction and convection. The observed growing influence of the byte number is only relevant near the wall, because the dimensionless number provides a straightforward index of the ratio of thermal resistances inside the fluid, and at its surface. The major reason for the observed higher temperature distribution to have manifested in the case of heat source can be linked to the fact that it strongly affects the formation of friction formed at the wall not only during nanofluid flow due to Coriolis force, but also enhances temperature distribution. The observed increasing effects of inclined magnetic field capable of causing the distance between the turning points of shear stress and that of the gradient of magnetic flux density to be located at the middle of the domain can be associated with the rising of magnetic permeability. If the velocity of ternary hybrid nanofluid parallel to x-axis and magnetic flux density parallel to x-axis are expected to increase, then a rise in the inclined magnetic field related parameter is recommended. Theoretical Review of Study 3 With major emphasis on the fluctuation of friction, heat, and mass transfer rates across the domain, Salim and others, 2022, examined the dynamics of five ternary hybrid nanofluids which are Colloidal mixture of water and spherical silver nanoparticles, cylindrical carbon nanotubes nanoparticles, platelet graphene nanoparticles the second ternary hybrid nanofluid is made up of the same water-based fluid, cylindrical carbon nanotubes nanoparticles, and platelet graphene nanoparticles, but spherical copper nanoparticles. The third ternary hybrid nanofluid is made up of the same water-based fluid, cylindrical carbon nanotubes nanoparticles, and platelet graphene nanoparticles, but spherical spherical copper, second, oxide nanoparticles but spherical titanium nanoparticles was used in the fourth ternary hybrid nanofluid made up of the same water-based fluid, cylindrical carbon nanotubes nanoparticles, and platelet graphene nanoparticles. The last ternary hybrid nanofluid is a colloidal mixture of spherical aluminum, cylindrical carbon nanotubes nanoparticles, platelet graphene nanoparticles, and water. The results for boundary layer flow by Salim and others. 2022, show that decreasing the density of spherical nanoparticles causes a significant increment in the friction between the layers of water-based ternary hybrid nanofluid and the wall. In the report, presented as Table 4, it is worth noticing that the colloidal mixture of the ternary hybrid nanofluid is made up of small amount of spherical, cylindrical, and platelet nanoparticles. But in Table 5, the colloidal mixture of the ternary hybrid nanofluid is made up of large amount of spherical, cylindrical, and platelet nanoparticles. In Table 5, where the colloidal mixture of all the five ternary hybrid nanofluids is made up of large amount of spherical, 
cylindrical, and platelet nanoparticles, insignificant increment in the friction between the layers of water-based ternary hybrid nanofluid and the wall now emerge. A few distance away from the wall, there is need to understand the variation in the friction beneath the transport phenomenon of 5 ternary hybrid nanofluid. At this point in the domain of 5 different fluid flows, moderate increment in the friction manifest. Far away from the wall, at the free stream, the results of the simulation shows that the friction at the edge of each transport phenomenon of 5 ternary hybrid nanofluid decreases. A decrement in the friction from the wall till the free stream. Accumulation of species that form water-based ternary hybrid nanofluid decline due to higher erratic motion and thermomigration of different nanoparticles. Thermomigration and erratic slash random motion of three kinds of nanoparticles in the base fluid are some of the attributes of these objects in liquid medium that can affect the performance and transportation of nanofluids. A higher density of spherical nanoparticles can lower the friction between the layers of water-based ternary hybrid nanofluid and the wall. Also, a higher volume fraction causes a lower heat transfer rate at different levels of haphazard motion of nanoparticles. Acknowledgements Special thanks to all the editors and reviewers of Zeitschrift für Naderverskung, De Gruder Publishing and Surfaces and Interfaces, Elsevier Publishing. We share Tur appreciates the contribution of the authors to the body of knowledge. We share theoretical and empirical reviews. It is all about learning research facts and sharing with others. Please, subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.